Nuggets hosting the Heat. First finals ever for Denver, which is kind of hard to believe, really, when you think about yeah, all the different mellow, times they've hung mellow, around, you right? Suck, mellow. <laughs> 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 you ain't. Just mean, you know. <laughs> and Dikembe, y'all suck. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, they had to go through the Lakers, man, at the time. Mellow. I know. You know? Yeah. Um, yeah. But look, they've got the, they've been the most steady team this postseason. No question. They've got the toughest player to solve. And by the way, I, people, I mean, it's its not the most celebrated beef in the NBA, but there's some uh, sneaky yeah, beef yeah, yeah, yeah. there, right? Let's see, uh, 2021 was that the, was remember Jokic Morris. took the shot on Markeith yeah. Morris, and then the entire, right, the entire Heat team is yeah. basically in the hallway waiting outside the yeah. Nuggets locker room. That photo was incredible. Um, and then in the bubble, I, you've seen the clip maybe over the last couple of days is Kyle Lowry and Aaron Gordon getting into it. And Kyle, of course, is like, my hotel room number is they such and him, such. Yeah, come yeah, get, come yeah, get me. Yeah. That's what happens when you're all staying at the same hotel for the NBA Finals. But <laughs> um, I honestly didn't see this from either team. I mean, I really didn't. They were not the favorites on I, either I, side. I really didn't. I honestly didn't see Denver getting past the Lakers. And here's why. Here's why. I knew they were the better team. Okay. So. Right? I just didn't think. I, I thought that LeBron and that Lakers mystique was going to overcome anything that Denver had. I, I really thought that. I didn't. Th I, I thought it was going to be so tough for them. But. You know, they shut that down. Jokic, let me tell y'all something. <laughs> this dude is so fucking good, man. <laughs> Straight up. Like, I haven't seen anything like him. Where he passes. You got a seven foot, seven one center bringing up the ball, initiating the offense. Like, everything goes through him. And he passes and people open, like Aaron Rodgers style. It is amazing. The passes that he makes from one side of the court to the mm -hmm. other on time and on target, mm -hmm. the bounce passes in between defenses. You can't guard him on the post because he's too big. He can't jump over a dollar bill. <laughs> he rebounds. He is amazing. He like if there is one per the one guy I would want to play with. I was going to say recently, if you got to play with someone like him, I would love to play with. Him. He's a problem. I mean, he's a problem. Like he, he's like Jason Kidd as a mm -hmm. point guard. Like right. those guys don't have to score to affect the game. But he also scores. But he can score. <laughs> he shoots a three. Mm -hmm. What can he do? I mean, he can't jump. 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 <laughs> yeah, he can't jump. He can't jump. And like, you see how big he is. There's no muscle definition on him, and he's just wearing you down. And he's strong. And mm -hmm. I love him. Yeah, I love him. I I don't even know what, what other words to say. I love him. I As a basketball player. I don't understand why more people aren't into watching Nikola Jokic play. Oh, because they, they need to. Because he has a beautiful game. It's exciting. It's fun to watch him play. Yes. You don't know what's going to happen. He's yes. super creative. Why he, do you think he hasn't been more popular? Well, he's in Denver. I mean, <laughs> so let's be honest. It's the same way, you know, um, Damian Lillard. Like, right. the stuff that he does night in and night out, yeah. he's in Portland. Like, those guys play late at night. They're on the West right. Coast. Like, you know, I'm sorry. It's, yeah. But he's in New York somewhere or I mean, you know, somewhere on the East Coast yeah. on one of those teams. That'd be a different story. But, hey, man, he's putting people on notice now, right? Because I think he's on the verge of winning his first championship, and he's going to be the MVP. Bam. Damn, I feel sorry for you, Bam. <laughs> Boy. I mean, they're going to try to protect him, right? They're going to throw Kevin Love out there on Jokic some Kevin just Love, to get some fouls. Hey, he's going to send Kevin into retirement. Right. Like, this is it. <laughs> Kevin Love, his ass about to be out of here fucking with, um, with, with, with Jokic. I'm telling you, that kid is – he's everything I love in a basketball player. All right, so I'm going to ask you about sort of who has the edge and the bigs I, I already know, right? Of course, Nuggets yeah, have the edge, yeah. right? Yeah. Hands down. All like, right, not even close. That's like 10 to 5, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Poor Bam. Yeah. I love Bam, though, right. but he, he, he's messy. He's, he's dealing with a problem. a lot yeah. ahead of him. All right, what about guards, Heat or Nuggets? Um, yeah, Jamal Murray looks like he's back at the bubble. Mm -hmm. like he, he has some flashes of that. I still got to go with Denver. You yeah. know, KCP has been having a, a, a great uh, postseason as well, defensively and offense, offensively shooting the ball, a 3 and D guy. Um, again, Jamal Murray is playing spectacular basketball. Um, not to take anything away from uh, Vincent and uh, Struess, but I like those two guys. 